One common mistake that we encounter in reading through newspapers and websites is that people compare numbers or populations or voters or what have you using what I call shifting baselines. A shifting baseline is like comparing apples to oranges. You may think that you're comparing things that are alike, but you're not. It's especially difficult when we try to think in percentages. Suppose you want to leave a 15% tip on a $20 restaurant bill. You'll leave $3 for a total of $23. Mathematically, what you're probably doing in your head or on a napkin or on your phone is calculating 0.15, that's the 15%, times $20 equals 3. You then add the 3 to the 20 to get 23. You all do this very quickly in your head. More formally, what you've done is multiplied the $20 restaurant bill by 115%. Why 115? Well, you want to pay the original amount owing, that's the 100%, and you want to add 15% to it, hence 115. But suppose you try to figure out later what the tip was by looking only at the total. You can't take 15% of the $23 and subtract it out and end up where you started at 20, because 15% of $23 is $3.45, not the original $3 you tipped. You're trying to take percentages on different baselines. The way you solve this problem, starting out with $23, is that you divide it by 115 percent. If this is confusing, here's another example. Suppose there are 100 people in the office where you work. Management decides to cut costs by firing half of the people, which is 50. You're one of the unfortunates who lost your job. Now, after four months, the economy turns around and the company wants to begin hiring, and ideally to rehire people who already have experience with the company. So your not-too-bright boss walks into the office and he counts that he has 50 employees left. He remembers that he fired half of his staff, so now he determines he wants to increase his staff by that same 50%. He calculates that 50% of the 50 employees he has remaining means he needs to hire 25 more people. Of course, once he does, he'll only be up to 75 total employees, not the 100 he started with. Your boss has been guilty of shifting baselines, applying the 50% to two different starting points. Shifting baselines don't always involve percentages. If I tell you that more people are getting cancer now than 100 years ago, that doesn't necessarily mean that our modern world is causing cancer. 100 years ago, people died younger and of things that are treatable now, like infections. Cancer tends to be an old person's disease. People are dying of cancer because they're living long enough now to get it. Comparing cancer rates now with 100 years ago is looking at different populations or, in the parlance of statistics, different baselines.